Greetings, my brethren, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our soon coming King. What a joy it is to be able to come and be with you yet another morning to share with you from God's Word and to encourage you along the way. I want to thank you for taking the time out to be with us every morning. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for sharing with your friends, family, and loved one. I am starting a series that will take us a little time. I'm going to be speaking to you in the mornings on the family. I believe that this is so important that we need to take some time out and just encourage the family. I love the, the song that Frederick Lohmann wrote. He said, the love of God is greater far than tongue or pen can ever tell. It goes beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell. The guilty pair bowed down with care. God gave his son to win. His erring child he reconciled and pardoned from his sin. The chorus says, O love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong, it shall forevermore endure the saints and angels song. What a beautiful number. I love to sing it. I love to read the words. I love to just concentrate on this song, the love of God. Since we'll be looking at the family, I want to, for the next uh, few mornings, just walk through this from the beginning, give you some introductory remarks, and then just walk through this family life and uh, see if we can encourage each other. I want to thank you for your calls and your WhatsApp messages that you send back to me, encouraging me um, as I try my best to encourage you. I want us to start in the book of Genesis because that's where it all started in Genesis. And I want to read for you verse 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 31. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over every living thing that creepeth or moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you, it shall be for meat. And every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning was the sixth day. What a wonderful passage of scriptures reminding us of God creation. I like to start and give a little subject or topic to what I want to start with, and that is, I've entitled the study for these mornings, God's Blueprint for the Family. Wherever you go in the world today, no doubt you would see things that are built, built by man that we admire. Some of the structures that we have seen when we go away, wow. They are breathtaking. Sometimes we are privileged to meet the person or persons who built the structure. 
and when we do we compliment them for their work but be reminded that before the builder can begin to build the owner and architect must get together and find out what the owner would like to have in regards to designs and then the architect design or draw the blueprint in some cases the architect is the one who designs his own home when the drawings are completed they are then taken to the local government for approval when they are approved then they are given to the contractor to construct what is on the paper in some cases the architect is given the authority to make sure that the building is done exactly according to the plan where in other cases he's not given the chance to direct the contractor and even if he passes by the property and they see certain things are not going according to the plan he stays out of it i say that to say this the family is god's design and he has given the blueprint to all of us to follow we can say to all of us to build by but i remind you that when he is not invited as architect to supervise he too stays out of our business so permit me to take a little time this morning just next few minutes and begin by sharing with you the creation of man or the creation of family man was created by god regardless to what you hear anybody else say man was created by god for in genesis chapter 1 verse 27 so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he them before man was created god had a plan he planned how man would be created he also planned his purpose for creation in verse 26 says and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowls of the air over the cattle and over all the earth and everything that creepeth upon the earth that was god's purpose for creating man may i remind you that man was made in the likeness and the image of god verse 26 and verse 27 of our text reminds us of that man which here represent human was created and is created male and female verse 27 reminds us of that let me read it for you so god created man in his own image and the image of god created he him male and female created he them that is what god created what god created male and female God created nothing else but male and female. Man was formed from the dust of the ground, and because of that, we have nothing to be proud about. The woman was made from the rib taken from a man's side. Genesis 2:22. Now that's the way human beings were created. Let me close for this morning and pick up next morning by telling you. It is not true that man came from a monkey. or uh, any other way different to what the bible says man was formed from the dust of the ground and the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground and he breathed into his nostril the breath of life and he became a living soul wow our time is way past we must stop here and pick up next morning our father we thank you so much for giving us these instructions And we pray that your holy spirit would just help us lord as we share these instructions with your people that we would better understand lord your whole plan and intention for man and for the family bless guide and direct protect your people lord protect the family in jesus name i pray amen may god bless you have a great day hey listen in the next morning